Gen Z wants to see less amorous activity on TV and movies. Instead, they want to see stories of platonic friendship. That's according to a new survey of people under the age of 25. Half said showing characters doing the deed is often inconsequential to the plot of most TV shows and movies, and they would rather see deeper, more unique relationships. So, Angie, where do you come down on this one? <laughs> come on, kids. Put the phone down. Put away the Netflix. Go to the bar. Take a shot. Get you some. Like, let's have some fun. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm just joking. I actually do like this, and this is why. I, I feel like... The, we've been sold sex to us our entire life, right? We've been told that this is sex sells and this is how movies are made. And, and there's just been this culture around it. And I think it is refreshing to see that, hey, we don't need that. Like, mm -hmm. people want to see things like The Office. Like, they're fine not seeing people skin off. That's a really good point. And there's honestly, like, if you really want to see that, I mean, it's at your disposal. I could pull something up right now. Get off the work Wi-Fi. Okay, I will. Uh, <laughs> but but it would be easy to do to, to, to feed that appetite. And so I think what people are looking for is escapism and really just good stories or, or something to make them laugh. Uh, so I, oh, we read the story and Sonny was just like, ah. <laughs> you want you want to see you want to see it all. Okay. Funny because I, I kind of agree with Angie. So my thing is, you know, this new generation, I think we always talk about them. We're like, oh, they're always complaining. They're doing this, they're doing this. But I, what I really like about them is I feel like they're so much more aware and they're so vocal about what they like, what they don't like. Mm -hmm. They're not afraid to, like, voice their opinions. And I like this because, to me, you know, um, there's... I want to see different relationships. Like, I want to see platonic relationships with men and women just being friends and having really great shows where it's not always about being attracted to someone or sex. Like, so I, I like it. I, I respect them for this. For this. For, for this. For this only. <laughs> but yeah. I, yeah, but, but isn't I, like... Never mind. <laughs> no, but, but, but you bring up, like, shows like The Office, for example. Yeah. I think... You know, that was not, there was, it was an ancillary part of the plot in some instances, but it wasn't framed around that, whereas Friends, mm -hmm. you know, the entire first couple seasons was will they or won't they? So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm binging Sex in the City for like the 100th time, <laughs> so I really can't speak on this no, because, you know, I actually counted like how many people they were with. Yeah. Like, I really kept notes because I was yeah. like, I really want to know. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? It was a lot. Yeah. You want to share your notes oh, on that one? No, yeah. not yet. I'm not finished. It's a tally. There's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you can't keep track. I was like, they were busy. <laughs> See, I'm one of those people when a, like a sex scene comes on, I'm like, oh my gosh, like yeah. ever since I was even little, yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. what? even if I'm like watching a show that I'm watching and my fiance walks in the room, I'm like, oh, we can't watch this I don't know why I, this is also coming Bless from the girl heart. that looks like I'm gonna go churn, churn <laughs> butter over here so <laughs> I don't know are you like the south are you like the southern <laughs> belle I get a little Quaker embarrassed. matter here I love it Quaker uh, matter goody, uh, goody proctor but you have to remember like okay when Google was invented which was how long ago by the way I just want to point I just want to point well, hang on one second how many shows are you getting a reference to The Crucible? And I just want—I'm just patting myself on the back for that. Continue. Okay, I will. Do you remember? I do. Remember, I remember being an intern at a local radio station for kind of a shock jock. He's, he's still here, and uh, and us pulling up a website when we discovered this thing called Google and, and going to MrSkin.com and Mr. Okay, Skin. Do not what? go. Do wow. not. No, I, I don't think. Wait, what is it? I, wait, 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 what I is love it? that you were like, uh, I don't want to see the name of the station or the DJ, but yeah, go to this porn site. What? No. <laughs> But I'm saying this is what we were doing. <laughs> we, were, we were supposed to be screening calls, by the way. Sorry, Elliot. Oh, Anyways, my God. Um, what? But, but what, what I'm saying, but the, the, what Don't it did, and, it's, and what it did was you could go there and it would tell you, like, different movies that you could find the naked scenes Okay, we got to go. We got to move Corey, on. 